Yo, what's up guys? Yesterday I made a weapon tier list for this patch. Today I'll be making a legend tier list and we'll start off right together. Bloodbar, first character in Brawlhalla. We will put him into A tier. I think I'll be basing this uh, tier list more around the character SIGs and their overall, uh, how good they are in this meta and how like efficient they are. And not on their weapons as much, but I still will be taking those into account because you guys could just like make your own weapons because uh lance and blasters were on the bottom tier of my weapon tier list uh, so you would su assume brax is d tier right but he is actually b tier because he um his sigs his side sig on lance is insane uh his end sig on lance is insane his down sig on lance is insane he has some insane sigs his down sig on blasters is really good side sig is really good and really like some characters are, are, can have bad weapons but we really cared by sigs so, <clears throat> Bodbar, he has really solid weapons this patch, and his sigs are really good. Sword, down sig, hammer, side sig, hammer, end sig, hammer, down sig, sword, side sig, sword, end sig. Every sig is really viable. <clears throat> Next is Thatch. Um, I'll put him bottom of B, I mean, top of B tier as well, as well as Lord Brax, because he, while he does have blasters, he also has sword. Sword was nerfed, but Thatch sigs are insane. Thatch has uh, sword, end sig, sword, side sig, sword, D sig. Uh, cannonballs on blasters down sig can be really used well if you're smart enough with them uh d-light and sig used to be a true combo but it's not anymore so he would be a tier if d-light and sig was so true i think i'm not sure uh yeah he's pretty he's a pretty solid character side sig on sword really does a lot of work it kills really early it's really nice also lord brack side sig um it hits pretty high that's why that's why i think it's like really really good um <clears throat> next uh but roland uh b tier he doesn't really stand out his sword down sig is insane uh his land sand sig is i think it's pretty good you know it's a pretty big hitbox deserves to be up here b tier i'll probably organize a little bit more in a bit uh next is azot okay mordex Mordex is S tier, side light and sig is true no dodge on sight. That's really all you need, but he has more. Down sig on gauntlets, side sig on uh, sight, uh, down sig on sight. Like, all his sigs are insane. Except maybe end sig, but end sig is still good on gauntlets. Next, Koji. S tier. Uh, his weapons this patch are really good. Uh, his 8 dex weapons this patch are insane. And it's like, you just throw out 3 moves before being punished. Koji is really insane. His sigs are still insane uh that down sig on bow is insane like it's just really good uh n sig kills really early on his bow side sig kills really early and they're really fast and unpunishable and n sig on sword is good side sig is sword and down sig is a good tool to use <clears throat> next hatori a tier probably uh yeah a tier she um her speed really is a lot of speed which is really good for a character and then on top of that, she has um, uh, Spear and Sig. Spear Side Sig, which is a light attack. It's insane. It really carried the character. But it doesn't kill that early, so that's why she wouldn't be S tier. She might even be top of B tier, but I'll just put her in here for now. Uh, her sword, End Sig, is insane. End Sig is so insane. Especially in 2v2, you use End Sig, and it's just like a, a f if you hit them, which it, you might because it's super big, you ju will just send them to the bottom of the map. It's really good. Next is Wu Shang. A tier, maybe even S, but his weapons got, uh, his gauntlets got nerfed. But his sigs are still insane. You know? So, uh, spear side sig kills really early. Spear, uh, gauntlet down sig kills really early. Side sig on gauntlets will spike off stage perfectly. End sig kills early on gauntlets, and I think it does a lot of damage as well. Uh, so spear end sig is also a light attack, as well as side sig on, uh, spear. And down sig can be used really well. And, yeah. <clears throat> Next, Sentinel. Uh, S tier. His sigs are so good. They got nerfed last patch, but I still think they are amazing. If you use Sentinel sigs with his Qatar kit, you will be dominating. Trust me. Side light down sigs to end light and sig. It's crazy, bro. Sentinel is just crazy. Also, end sig on hammer. Uh, side sig on hammer. Not the best, but you know it's usable. Also, down sig got buffed, which just adds him up. But mainly his Qatar, his Qatar kit carries, as well as his hammer and sig. Next is Ada. Probably like yeah, B or C, somewhere around here. Ada, nothing really stands out. Three defense. Dash also had three defense, but his sigs are insane. Ada's sigs are kind of mediocre. Um, the only sig that could really stand out to me is probably like um, her down sig on, uh, what's it called? Spear. 
right? And because it's just like hits grounded, so there's nothing really too crazy on her. Yes, her side sick kills pretty well. Yes, her end sig spikes down pretty well, but it's just you know, there's other there's better options to play. Okay, Kaya, A tier for sure. Uh, I don't know if she's S tier, uh, because she has spear which might move her down but her i think all her bow sigs are insane down sig is like a light attack you just put it on the floor and people fall into it kills really well side sig uh just covers the whole map and sig is really good for 50 50s out of side light or out of anything if your opponent jumps you just end sig and it comes out really quick and it kills really well uh and sig on spear after side light it's kind of a good read actually uh down sig is also really good you just throw it out her side sig is not crazy but yeah Next, Teros. S tier. Dude. Teros six game breaking. Side tick on hammer kills super early. They nerfed it, but I don't even see the nerf. They buffed his uh Teros hammer and sig by six damage. Crazy. And down tick on axe. Not a move in this game. It's actually crazy. Just like a circle around you that kills. Um on top of that, he has side tick on axe, which kind of hard to land not not really hard to land but you know it's not the easiest to land and it kills out really early 120 i believe um lucian he has blasters so I'll move him down a tier for that but his uh sigs are really insane i think n sig down sig side sig on Qatars are all insane down sig on Qatars is really really good and so is n sig and that n sig is a really good thing to catch dodges uh n sig on blasters catches stacked i believe and down sig is really good to move you back it moves you back and throws a hitbox in front of you and like it's really good <clears throat> we gotta hurry this up cassidy wait why did i put her in s what the hell b tier three defense or not even three she, she has low defense four defense i believe and low speed four speed if she had higher speed i think she'd be viable but she has too much dex but that dex does allow you to get d light and sig otherwise she'd be down here d light and sig is true on um both weapons actually and her side sig on hammer is good uh her down sig on Blasters is good off stage. I think it'll just send you down. It's pretty good. Next is Nyx. Um, probably like A tier. You know, A tier, B tier, somewhere around there. Uh, her side sick on sight is pretty good, I believe. Her down sick on sight is pretty good. Her end sick on sight is pretty good. Um, D line and take a true no dodge on blasters, so you could use that how you would like on Nyx. Uh, D sick is okay, and it's pretty good. It's pretty good on blasters. She'll probably deserve to be in B. She's nothing too outstanding about her. Bryn, A tier. Uh, you know, Ensig Spear, Ensig Axe is really good. It's a, like it's the act the move that Axe needs is her Ensig. So it's really good. Uh Down Sig used to do 40 damage, but now it got lowered. But it's still a good move, especially in 2v2. You just throw it out and you get hit someone. Side tick kills early, and tick kills early. Next is Azuri. A tier. She really is good. This meta still, Sword and Katara. If you want to climb and rank, just play Azuri. Uh, her down sig on Sword is pretty good. Uh, end sig is pretty good. You should go into training mode and look at end sig and look at the hitboxes. It's really like just... It's it's like a Sword downer, but it's a sig. It's crazy. Um, Katara's down sig is pretty good. Side sig can be used. End sig for Gimps if you're good with it. Baraza, A tier as well. Even though he, he does have blasters, he does have some crazy axe sigs. D sig, I think, is really good. N sig is really good. Side sig can be used if you're smart with it, like Cody Travis himself. Um, down sig on blasters, still. It got nerfed, but it's still the same move. Like, it, it hits where it's supposed to. N sig is pretty good. It's like just hitboxes thrown out to the top left or top right of you. Um, what's the other sig? Yeah, side sig, pretty good as well. Uh, Ember. Low defense, but she is thrown up by the fact that her Ensig on bow is crazy. It's basically all she has, and it's crazy. Also, her other SIG is down SIG on uh, Qatar's kill really early. And side SIG is deceiving, to say the least, on bow. It will hit you when you don't think it will get hit by it. Uh, Azoth. S tier. I think he stands with these characters. Um... He has insane sigs. All his sigs are not Every single sig is crazy. Every single sig. Every single sig. Crazy. And he has two good weapons. Algrim. E tier. Axe D sig. Insane. But he does have a lance. His stats are insane. So that's why he's the top of A tier. Probably along with Wushong or something like that. But, you know, Algrim is crazy. His D sig on um, Axe, like I said. Next is Diana. A top of... Uh, middle of S. And she does have blasters. But... She, 
I'll move her up. If you're good with blasters, you could probably use her. Insane. Sideline down light end sig is true. No dodge on uh, bow. Crazy. And D sig is pretty good. It's like a light attack. Not a light attack. The fact that it doesn't move you and it sends like spikes perfectly. Also, end sig. If you end sig someone with Diana and then you just kill them, it's insane. Um, I mean, edge guard them with Diana. Next is Jala. All her six kill early. Even though she does have three defense, which is why she will be moved down by four. Yes, four. Uh, yeah, sword side to kills at 120. Sword day sig is still a lot of attack. Sword end sig is still really good. Uh, D sig on axe has a lot of damage. End sig kills early. Side light end sig is true, but you have to hit it in a certain way. And side sig kills early, I think. Core. A tier as well. He's not S tier quality, but his D sig on uh, gauntlets will move him up. His end sig. If you hit his end sig, like in a sliding way, it will kill super early. Uh, side sig on hammer. Pretty good if you use it correctly. d light end sig got removed. Otherwise, he would probably be S last patch. Because his gauntlets also got nerfed. Damn, will this thing work? Alright. Val. Ta top of A. This thing is not super organized. So you can't just screenshot this and say, Oh, Val is better than, you know... Algrim or Val is better than Wushan. Like, these characters are pretty equal. But Algrim should be moved down here. You know, I haven't organized this as well. Uh, what I say about Val? Her end got nerfed, but I don't really notice it. But people did stop playing Val as much, I think. Um, she Her sigs are still good, and she still has a solid set of weapons. So she is definitely an A tier. Ragnar, A tier as well. Down sig, end sig, side sig on guitars are all insane. Side sig on axe is insane. D sig on what's Raphael, I think. End sig is insane on axe. Ra uh, he's a pretty solid, pretty solid character. Cross A tier as well. End sig on cross kills early. The balance kill early. Pretty crazy. Mirage, A tier. She's like struggling to get into S, but she's definitely probably somewhere around A tier because her sigs are all light attacks. Especially her end sig and down sig on um, spear. And down sig on um, spear. Wait, no, no. Yeah. End sig and down sig on scythe and down sig on spear. And side sig on spear can be used in a smart way. Yumiko, probably around A tier as well. You know, there's a lot of characters. Oh my god. She has a good end sig. No, she has a good tool. She's really unique. I like her about that. I like that about her. Um, you know, those little balls that she throws out, if you get a hit into them, you're dead. Not really dead, but, you know, they get a true combo off of it. Also, d light is true on Hammer. Nobody really does it, though. I don't know why. Artemis, A. Lance, side sig is pretty good. Really good, actually. Uh, Lance, so, scythe, side light, and sig is true. No no dodge. Yep, that's it. Caspian, A. His sigs are insane. Side sig on gauntlets. Kill, hit stacked, basically. Just like Petra. Where are you, Petra? Come on, Petra. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Bro, I know you guys are looking at Petra right now. Tell oh, there she is. Caspian and Petra, both their side sigs on gauntlets hit stacked. And Petra has her own issues, like end sig and end sig on both weapons. Like, it's crazy. Also, Caspian has side sig on Katars. Yep. Sidra, A, uh, B tier. She has cannon. Hmm. Probably A or B. Because she has cannon, but she has one of the best cannon sigs, which is end sig on the cannonball. You know what I'm talking about on Scythe? I mean, Cannon. So, B tier. Even though he does have Axe, he does have Cannon, which brings him down. I mean, I guess if you solely play around his Axe, but, you know, it's not how the tier list works. Uh, yeah. His Sigs are all really mediocre. I hate so with a passion. Isaiah. C tier. No, no outstanding qualities about him. Uh, his D Sigs are pretty good for edge guarding. Not insane. Jiro, B tier. D light side sig is still true on sword, I believe. Just like Thatch, no dodge. And yeah. Also, on scythe, you get side light, end light, ser true. No, end light, nair, ser true, I believe. And then you can get more off of dodge read. I, I don't know. Uh, Orion, his weapons will bring him down, just like other characters in this list. His sigs are all insane. Every single sig that I can. Yeah, every single sig. I'm just imagining them all right now. They're all crazy. Every single sig. End sig, down sig on uh, lance are both crazy. Side sig is pretty good on spear. And so is down sig. And end sig you could use off stage. Linfei, A tier. She does have cannon, but... 
but her intake on cannon is insane. It's like another move that, you know, honestly, I wouldn't even care if you add that to cannon. Yeah, whatever. I'm trolling. Don't add that to cannon. It'd be crazy. And then, yeah, her intake is crazy. It's like a light attack, literally unpunishable. And then on top of that, she has a uh, neutral sig on, what's it called? It's ours. Zariel. A tier. Nobody ever plays Zariel, and I have no idea why. Wait, where did Zariel go? Zariel is one of my favorite characters. All their sigs is insane. Literally. Every single sig is insane. Rayman. A tier. He has gauntlets. As you can see, none of the characters here have gauntlets. They both have, like, some insane weapons. Rayman. You know, they nerfed his Axite sig, but it's still... Eh. It's punishable now, but it's still the same thing it used to be. But it's, it's punishable. That's the only thing they added. End sig unusable on Axe, but unless you get a read, I guess. Down sig is, they punished. I mean, they nerfed it, but it still kills pretty early if you get a read. Or if you just throw it out and you hit somebody. Dusk? Dude, people say that Dusk has the best sigs. I have no clue. I don't play Dusk at all, I'm going to be honest here. But I'm just going to put him into A. I have no opinion on Dusk. Leave him there. Fate. A as well. All these characters are reliable. Fate, Insane Six, Orb, Scythe, Meta, basically. I shall move her up. Get out of here, Rayman. Thor. Uh, Hammer Six will carry. He's insane. Top of A. And he has Orb, which is crazy, this patch. Um, Vector. Dude, Vector and Dusk. I literally have no opinion on them. But I hear that they are super good, I, get, I think. I just move them together like little buddies. Bulk of A. Middle of, top, middle of A. He has Scything on Scythe. It's like a big light attack. Not really a big light attack, but it's a big wall in front of you that will send people off stage, and then you just take them out Scythe. And also, he has uh, Axe Side Sig, which is insane. And he has Scythe and Sig. If you hit it, it kills pretty early. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. Next is Onyx, top, middle of A. His sigs are all insane. They nerfed him, but he's still crazy. Uh, even though he does have cannon and gauntlets, his sigs will carry him through everything that he wants. Actually, I'll move him down because he has two of those weapons. Next is Jayon. Sword, great sword. You can't go wrong with those weapons in this patch. But his sigs aren't too crazy. So I'll just put him there. Actually, I'll put him. He's more mediocre in A tier. Mako. Her sigs got nerfed, but she is still insane because her down sig on oh, great sword is pretty good. Mm, and she has guitars, but I'm not sure if she has a true combo. Wrench plays her without a true combo on his kit. I don't do not know why, but if you have a true combo, then she is better than you know, better than bad. Nash A tier. His sigs are not the best. I mean, his sigs are. Some of the best. Like, literally. And so you could just play around his six. Literally, you could play all around his six. And that's it. Uh, Queen Nye. Nothing outstanding about her. Just like these two characters. Uh, I'm not saying if you play these characters, they're unwinnable. I'm just saying there's better picks. These characters, if I played them, I, I would win with them. Not like a tournament, but I could beat people with them. Like, these characters are all... Every single character is viable. But Queen Nye, I feel like her... She's too slow. For the weapons that she has. Like, you can't play Spear and Katars with 4 speed. And also, you need to play 3 speed if you want true combos on Katars, which makes it... That's the reason why she's down here, okay? Uh, But her sigs are all insane. I would move her up to B tier, but that would be blasphemous of me. Scarlet. B tier. Nothing outstanding about her. Down to Gone Hammer is the only thing I could think of. Also, uh, yeah, that's the only thing I could think of. Dude, I remember a few patches ago, like a year ago or something. I don't know why I said a few patches. But her hammer and sig, it was crazy. It would hit all around you. Me and this one guy, we went into twos. And this is when I wasn't a pro. Maybe it was two years ago. And then I would beat pros with it, just spamming hammer and sig. Uh, Magyar. A tier, definitely in the meta. Um, Dancing on great sword, insane. Not insane, but, you know, it's really, really good. Reno, A tier. His sigs are pretty good as well. Also... He has blasters, which would move, which would move him down. But and then he has orb, which would move him up. But his sigs are not bad, and he has good stats, I think. 
Okay, let me make any revisions. These guys all deserve to be up here. I have no idea about these two characters. Tori maybe deserves to be moved. Uh, you stay in here, Tori. You know, move down. Sorry, you'll move up. Um, like I said, this is not this is not like super super good, right? I probably move fade up here. Her her weapon kit and her sigs are really good. I should probably move some characters up into S. Hmm. Dude. Diana really could be moved up to S, bro. Diana really could be moved up to S. I did it. I did it. Yeah, uh, whatever, dude. Who cares anymore? Let me see. Whatever. I guess that will be my final revision. Uh... Dude, Wushan could really get moved up. In, but, okay, so you see the characters that I'm struggling with? They are really all struggling. Not struggling, but they're on the verge of getting into S. So, basically, take that as you will. Take it with a grain of salt or whatever you want to take it with. So, that's the end of the tier list. Uh, tell me, you guys, your opinion and in the comments. And follow my Twitter. And bye, guys. Thank you for watching.